We've already done some work with the cylinder, which is to see if calculate the volume of a cylinder, or perhaps calculate the missing dimension if we've got the volume. What we want to do now is to work out the surface area. Now there are three surfaces in the cylinder. We've got a circular top, we've got a circular bottom, and then we've got this, what we call the curved surface area. That's this area here around the outside. Perhaps the easiest thing to do is, would be to cut the cylinder and open it up so that we have a net. So here is the net of the cylinder. Now these two diagrams are slightly different in size, but that doesn't matter. So here would be the circular top. Here is the circular bottom. And lo and behold, this curved surface area, which forms the walls of the cylinder, has the appearance of a very familiar shape, which is to say a rectangle. Now what I'm going to do is to add some dimensions to our net. So we know that the, the, um, the circular base has a radius of r. And this dimension here, which is the height of the cylinder, is this dimension here. So that's the height h. Now, we have a slight problem. What about this dimension here? Well, think about it. If we begin to reassemble the cylinder again from the net, this length here has to wrap perfectly round about the circumference of the circle. And that, in fact, is the key. This length is equivalent to the circumference of the circular top. So, and the formula for circumference is 2 pi r. So the surface area is given by the formula. Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared, and we've got two circles, one for the top and one for the bottom. So it's 2 pi r squared plus the area of the rectangle, which makes up the sides, the walls of the cylinder, and that's length times breadth. So that will be 2 pi r, 2 pi r times h. So here we have the first example. We want to work out the surface area of the cylinder. So the formula is surface area equals 2 pi r squared, 2 times the area of a circle, plus the circumference of a circle, 2 pi r, times the height of the cylinder. Now we have the base diameter, so we need to half that. The base radius is 12 over 2, which is 6 centimetres. So we can put all these numbers straight into the formula. It's going to be 2 times pi times 6 squared, 2 times pi times 6 times 20. And this is a calculator calculation, but we can maybe simplify things a little bit. So 6 squared is 36. 36 times 2 is 72. That's 72 pi. Plus, um, well, 2 times 6 is 12, and 12 times 20 is 240, so it's 240 pi. We can even add these together and then get the, use the calculator. So 240 plus 72 is 312 pi. And the answer to that is 980 0.18 and this is an area, surface area, so the units are centimetres squared. Here's a second example. I want to work out the surface area of this cylinder. Now there are a number of things to note. The first thing to note is that this cylinder has no top. That we have to take into account. And the second is that we have different units. So we have to decide whether we're going to work in metres or centimetres. Perhaps easier to work in centimetres. So we know the height is 
1.1 meters and to convert from centimeters to centimeters we multiply by 100 so the height is 110 centimeters now the surface area well the formula that we used in example one was two times the area of the circle plus the circumference of the circle 2 pi r times height but remember this cylinder has an open top so we don't need the 2 here we can now proceed so pi what's the radius? the radius is 60 divided by 2 which is 30 cm so pi times 30 squared plus 2 pi times 30 times 110 now 30 squared is 900 let's see 3 times 11 is 33 now 33 times 2 is 66 and then we can add on two zeros so 66 plus two zeros gives us 6,600 pi. If we add these two together, we get 7,500 pi. And if we turn to our calculator, now that's a large number, it's 23561.9 centimeters cubed, squared.